Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make an enclosure for your Ender 3 for $15. Alright, so for this project you're going to need a 48 by 96 inch piece of AP foil. This is a half inch. You're going to also need a box cutter or a sharp pair of scissors and some packing tape or duct tape will work. So this foil faced foam is cool because on one side it's white and on the other side it has this nice shiny foil. You can't really see it right now. Um, it'll be really good for insulating. So I'm really bad at imagining objects in three dimensional space so creating this was exceptionally hard for me. But here are the dimensions. So we've got 25 by 21 for the top and bottom, 28 by 20 for the door and the back, and 28 by 25 for the sides. Two, two, and two. It's going to be a big cube. You don't necessarily have to do the bottom. I'm just doing it because I have the material, and why not? And I'm sure this is probably not the most efficient way to cut this, but here it is. Um, I did the 28 here, so this is 25... So 28, 28, 25, 25, 20, and 20. And this is the top and bottom, which is 25 by 21. I would have just marked these to make it easier, but uh, I have an idea where I want to make a stencil and put Ender 3 and like spray paint it, but that's another video. Uh, let's get cutting. So when you're cutting this, uh, with a razor blade at least, Make sure to use as little of a blade as possible while doing your initial cut and then follow after with a longer blade because that will give you these nice clean cuts. Otherwise, the long blade is going to go everywhere when you're cutting this. I'm just going to do the corners first. I'm putting the 28 by 20 piece here on the inside of the 28 by 25 piece. Alright, so after putting this together, I realized I would really like a little window to keep an eye on my progress. So, with packing tape, I'm going to make one. Alright, now I realize I need a handle. Alright, now I'm going to tape the edges here because I realize I'm going to get foam everywhere otherwise. Alright, so that's not perfectly airtight there. Um, I would like it to be, so I'm going to uh, rig something up. Alrighty, 
time to run some test prints. Let's see how we do. All right, my first successful ABS print. Not perfect, <laughs> but at least it's done. Looks like the front started to separate a little bit there. Maybe my bed wasn't level. But it's a usable face shield for once. Alrighty, so I built a mini version of the enclosure to test how flammable it is. Inside, I put some centronella candles and I'm gonna light those up. Close the door, Let's see what happens. So it didn't go up like a candle immediately, but it did eventually burn. Um, if you want to make a fireproof version of this, I would recommend you use something like um, fire rated drywall. That would probably suffocate anything before it got out of control. But this is just a reminder to never leave your ABS prints unattended in a perfectly sealed enclosure. I'm going to do another quick test just to see how it handles moderate heat and not a full inferno. actually stood up to a lot longer burn with the map gas than I thought. So unless the model itself catches on fire, uh, you'll probably be okay. But again, do not leave your prints unattended. 